Hello everybody. Today we're going to be talking about putting talkback into the Ranger 2900 series. That's the 2950, the 2970 N2, and 4 and the 2995. And the 29... Yeah. <laughs> Let's take a look here. This is the new type audio chip in these rigs. I gotta get my get my glasses. Just uh, right there. Wow. Been a while since I've done this. Um, but now that little solder pad and that little solder pad right there, those are pretty fragile. So what we prefer to do is leave them alone. And so what we do, see this trace, this trace of leaving the diode, we cut it. We cut it right there. And then that becomes one solder pad right here on this side. And then over here, this becomes the other solder pad. Because that goes up underneath and goes over to the other guy. So that becomes the next one right there. You see? Over there and over there with a cut in the middle. Now that takes away the signal that tells the audio chip to mute while keyed down so it doesn't <coughs> amplify any stray noises. And then we're going to give it some stray noises. So the first thing we do is <coughs> unmute the chip and that makes it kind of talking back. Now we got to give it a little bit more signal. If we look on the back side of this board. Right over here. It doesn't say. It doesn't say. But it's this one here. It's pretty simple to see. Flip it over. It's this one. And we're coming from this bottom leg. So on the outside of this one. All the way up here. Now this is the audio chip we were just messing around next to. This first pin is what we want. This one right here. We're going to attach a resistor from here to there. Anywhere from 1 to 2 mega ohms. 3 if you want. Anywhere in that zone. To give you an appropriate amount of talk back. So let's go ahead and make the, make the cut. <clears throat> and I'm going to go ahead and mount it. A switch back here with a couple of wires for the cut. Right back. Okay. I went ahead and did everything. Did you see where I was talking about the solder pad that's left? One there. And then one way down here. Underneath here they connect to where we cut. I don't know if you can see the cut. You can see that cut down there. Two wires down there. And then when I throw the switch up and it breaks the connection between the two wires, that's when we get tied back. When we hook the two up, that's when we shut it off. Alright. We talked about the back side here needing a little extra boost from there. We have a wire that goes to. What do we got? A 2.2 mega ohm. That rear pin of the audio chip. That's it. Okay. So let's try it out. Try it on. We got just the radio speaker there. Audio check, check, check. One, two, three, four, five. And then I throw the switch off. Check, check, check. One, two, three, four.
nothing. All right, there you go.